What's good, YouTube, and welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody had a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holiday. Merry Christmas. Merry fucking Christmas and a Happy fucking New Year. Cheers. We have a great video lined up today talking about a lot of different TCG products, all the hottest stuff right now and stuff that's cooled down to include Lorcana. Do you like squeaky toys? <laughs> we have magic in here, Pokemon, Fighter's Ambition from Dragon Ball, as well as the hottest TCG right now of the year towards the end of the year, which is One Piece Romance Dawn set. So we are going to be covering and touching a little bit on all of that to give you an understanding of what the market and pricing analysis is doing right now. So you need to know all of that, especially if you're trying to buy stuff because some things are skyrocketing in value and you don't want to catch a falling knife. So that's what I'm here for, right? I'm going to help y'all out. So if y'all like stuff like that, then stay tuned for that, right? So first and foremost, one of the hottest sets of the year. If you don't know, now you know, right? So you have One Piece Romance Dawn. This is the first set release for One Piece, the anime One Piece that's been out for decades. And a lot of people instantly fell in love with this set. When this set first came out, a lot of people obviously don't know what to think because a lot of trading card games have been getting released lately. And when One Piece first came out, boxes were like 90 bucks. They were not very expensive. You get like 24 packs inside of a booster box. You get a box topper. And the boxes, they look pretty cool, right? But I knew nothing about One Piece. So I happened to find a box inside of the market. I got it for 90 bucks. They were sitting on a shelf and at first people were not really buying these up immediately because not a lot of people really knew about it But it is made by Bandai Namco. So if you like Dragon Ball look, that's the same people that are producing Dragon Ball cards So this is definitely one that's destined to succeed. I think that it has a long track record There's a lot of loyal fans to One Piece, especially the anime and uh, looking at it right here The boxes have been shooting up in value. So right here. We started off at $174 approximately three months ago and we dipped all the way down to about $115, $114 per box. And now we have shot back up to about $174. So right now the market price is $179.22 and the median price is $193.95. So when we go ahead and we look at the sales history, right now we can see a lot of boxes are actually selling between about $174 to $184. We do have this weird listing right here. It says unopened six quantity for 49.90. I don't think that's accurate. There's one down here at 41.66. Sometimes you will see some odd stuff on TCG player like people are trying to undercut the market or maybe they don't actually ship this product, but I guarantee you this box is not going for $41. And the reason why this box has went up in value so high because there's so many great cards inside of this set that are very very pricey. So we'll go ahead and take a look at that. And if you're into Japanese cards, they do have the Japanese set version as well and the pulls are a lot harder to get. So if you buy them from a proxy service or eBay, then the cards are probably going to cost you a premium. Just like certain Pokemon and stuff like that that are in Japan and exclusive to Japan or there's a lower print run is going to carry a premium in Japanese. So right here, we see the box. You can get a case right now for listings as low as $1,974. That is actually not low, but that's the lowest they have. Um, unless we click on it, we might see one cheaper. We do see listings as low as, uh, it's not low, right? 1900 or 2150, 2200 and about $2,500. So let's go ahead and move back and we're going to look at some of the cards. So some of the hottest cards in the set right now, you obviously have the manga shanks right here. This is the parallel alternate alternate art. We have talked about this. The difference is you see the artwork in the background from the anime. This is the alternate alternate art shanks right here. This is the hottest card currently in the set. It did go from about $732 and dip all the way down here to $599. Now, this is where a lot of people were picking this up at between $450 to $600. Bucks. I actually picked me one up that was Japanese around five something. And that's a risk you have to take because this is a new game. It probably will go down over time as they reprint or a new set comes out. But this is one of the hottest main characters in the anime. And now you can see the foil is actually starting to go back up in value. They're asking $745 for this card right now. And in a PSA 10, it is eclipsed $1,000. So this is one of the hottest cards in the set. Now moving on over to the waifus. You know, people love the waifus. So obviously, um, Nami and Boa is going to be going up in value. So this one right here 
is the NAMI parallel right here, and it's currently $184. So it also went from 148 dip down to 127, and all of these cards are starting to trend back up in value. So they are bouncing right now, and you wanna be cautious. You want it to stabilize and see if it's going to go back down or continue to go up, because right now we really don't know what these cards are going to do. You also have the Boa Hancock parallel went down to about 59. This is actually a pretty good price right now because this is a good card. A lot of people want this card and it's actually not too pricey right now. So at $85 is definitely a deal over some of these other cards. You also have the Zorro Parallel Leader card right here. It's $124. And this one is just continuously shooting up. This one actually isn't having much of a dip. It went from $47 to $124. So anybody that put money into this, well, congratulations, because this is the one you wanted to grab. And then you have a lot of other leader cards right here. You also have the Yamato Parallel. A lot of people like sitting at $79. And moving down right here, um, you have the alternate art shank. So this is just the alternate art right now at $34.96. And this one has continuously went down. And I think that's because a lot of people are actually gunning for the alternate alternate art, which is the one up top. So that is one piece for now. I think it's a great set, great cards, a lot of stuff uh, to come, right? The anime is going to continue. And I think that these cards are very, very hot and they're going to trend that way for a very long time, right? Just like Dragon Ball, they have been doing rather well. So let's go ahead and transition over to Dragon Ball as we're talking about it. And I'm not going to get too deep into it of Realm of the Gods and the God Rares and everything else. But we're going to go ahead and take a look at the Fighter's Ambition set. This is the recent set that released. And this one did not have a God Rare, but it did have a couple awesome SCRs. And we don't see much price change right now, but the boxes are currently sitting at $92.49, which is not that bad if you want to crack some cards. It did start at $159, and I think that's because there was a lot of hype surrounding all of these Dragon Ball sets because the last few have been very pricey and fire, right? You had all these God Rares and stuff, so people were putting a lot of money on these sets and FOMOing in. And then this dipped down all the way so about 70 bucks and now it's starting to trend back up right here um so this would have been a sweet spot right around 70 bucks and now we're sitting at 92.49 now you can still go on ebay and different social media platforms and probably get this for cheaper than that and you probably won't pull nothing great right i've opened a lot of boxes and i mean odds are they're stacked against you right sealed product you're sometimes you're better off buying your singles and that's what i did i went ahead and copped this one right here this is known right now to be the hottest card in the set this is the sun go on beyond the ultimate scr and it's a pretty cool card right some people like it some don't i really enjoy it i think it's a really cool card um right here it was sitting right around 250 and this one has bounced and now it is starting to trend down just a little bit. It went from about 367 and now it's down to about $340. You can buy it near mint on TCG Player. So this card has come down. I would wait a little bit more to see if it's going to continue downwards. And you also have some Sun Go On cards in here. This one I actually did pull sitting at $36.71. Pretty cool, that's the Power Reclaim card. You have the second SCR sitting at the highest right here, which is a Cell Max Deliverer of Despair, sitting at $105.03 market price at $99.95. And then you have the Evil Saiyan Malice Made Fresh at $107. So really, really good cards in this set. This was a really cool set, and I have really been enjoying Dragon Ball Super, all of their recent sets, because the artwork has just been phenomenal. It's been really fun to open and really stunning. And I really enjoy what they've been doing so far. So I will continue to follow Dragon Ball Super for the foreseeable future right now. So moving over to the V-Star Universe box. This is the next thing I wanna talk about, right? So we're not gonna talk about this too much in detail. Everyone knows this is the hottest set right now. There's a ton of cards that are inside of this set that can easily get your money back for the booster box. But still, right, this is a hot set. There's a lot of FOMO. It's bounced in value. And I do think this will go downward soon before it starts to go back up like VMAX Climax. A lot of these cards are very pricey right now, and they are going to drop in value. Now, there are some in here, your Evolutions. Um, if you have your Glaceon, there's a lot of great stuff. You have your Pikachu Art Rare. Um, you have your Dialga, your Palkia. Um, your Giratina, all of your gold cards and stuff, the four that are inside of this set. So there's a lot of great stuff in this box. But once again, you may not pull those cards. And I do think $114 right around where this box is sitting right now is rather pricey. So I would wait for this box to dip down maybe to about 90 to 100 bucks. If it does, 
I do see it going down just a couple more dollars or more. Hopefully it does. Um, so I would wait for that. And if you really want to buy this box, go ahead and go on buy E and try to find some deals and buy you a bundle or a case and try to save some money. Or you can go and buy E or Tenzo or a different service. And you can also pick up a bundle of the hits from the box and just buy the singles, right? I know some people like the rip packs. It's fun and stuff like that. But if you really want the card, go ahead and see what the singles cost and how much they'll cost you. And think about picking those up. That's what I did. I, I bought an 18 card lot and I also bought the Glaceon. And I'm very happy with that. The 18 card lot cost me like 30 bucks. And then the Glaceon was also like $33. So I'm very happy with that purchase. So moving over to Lord Kana. This is the second to last thing we're going to go ahead and touch on. So everybody knows, right? Lord Kana, uh, Disney had their expo. They had a lot of promo cards that went out that were very, very early, right? So this TCG will come out next year, coming very soon. And a lot of these prices, I mean, they took off. They went parabolic, right? These sets were like 50 bucks. And these cards instantly like skyrocketed in value. And that's what I want to show you right now. So we go ahead and move over to Soul Listings on eBay and we look at the highest listings. Around November timeframe, you had a whole set that was selling for $14,888 at 37 bids. And a lot of these were very, very high. A lot of them were around like $11,000, $12,000, best offer accepted. Some selling at eleven seven, And then also you had four card sets selling for like $6,500. It was just crazy, right? Absolutely crazy. A lot of these cards were selling for a crazy amount of money. You had a, a Mickey right here, 5,000 best offer accepted. You had one that actually sold at $4,200, a pop 33 in October. So that's right when this game was just taking off and everybody was banking big money on it. And I think it's still going to do well, right? I mean, as Disney, they're going to put a lot of money, time and effort into this TCG. But when we look at ended recently, a lot of people, I'm not going to say got burned because hopefully a lot of people got these cards for 50 bucks at the expo or they bought them very, very early when they were still very cheap in places like Discord or Facebook and stuff like that. Even eBay, because uh, when these first came out, these Disney promos were like 200 bucks. Then fans and collectors and investors and snipers and all that stuff were buying these cards, as you saw, for like $4,200 for a Mickey PSA 10. Now we're looking around Christmas time frame, December, right? It's been about a month and a half, two months, and prices have come down quite a bit. You see Mickey is low as $1,295. Still nothing to scoff at, not a cheap card. I think that this will still be a staple card in the future and very valuable and will go back up. But right now, these cards have dipped a lot. You have all of the cards sitting in a $1,000 range. So now if you were to pick all of them up, I would say all seven, you're probably looking between about seven to $8,000 if you get lucky. And I mean, that's a big difference between people buying a seven card set at like $15,000. So that's about half of a drop off. We would say about 50, 60% loss right now if you bought at the high. So these prices have cooled off. Now moving over to the last thing we're just going to touch on very quickly is Hasbro's snafu, right? We see right here the 30th anniversary edition box. A lot of people were not happy about this magic box. And now I did not put money into it because after watching a lot of videos and it kind of convinced me that this was not a good move by Hasbro. I'm not too happy with the proxy cards. And I mean, although they look cool because a lot of people want to get the Lotus and stuff like that, a lot of people actually opened these boxes and didn't really get much of anything. And then Magic sent these boxes to a lot of people that were not even Magic, you know, fans. And I think that was pretty messed up. So they did a lot of wrong moves um, very recently. I don't think Magic is done for good, obviously. They've been around for like 30 years. So Magic is going to continue to succeed, but they have been making some very, very poor moves and they haven't really done anything to rectify it, to apologize or to scale this product back or anything like that. A lot of stuff just seemed very fishy and saying these products have sold out in seconds and stuff like that. And I don't, I don't really believe it, but we'll go ahead and take a look at the box price and see what it's doing right now. So these boxes with four booster packs, um, the 30th anniversary edition display we're selling MSRP at $1,000. Now, if this product was really, really hype and people actually did accept it, I'm sure this box would be a lot more than $1,000, right? But right now, you can see it started around $1,800, went all the way down to $1,600, and now it is continuing downwards, a downwards trajectory all the way down to $1,495. Now, that is still a profit, but 
you can tell it is not doing well. It is continuing to go down and people are not buying this product. And some of the biggest magic collectors in a game like Rudy from Alpha Investments has had nothing good to say right now about Hasbro or this card set. So let me know what y'all think. Drop a comment. I know this is a lot of content to digest. But it's a lot of stuff to talk about. It's a lot of great cards out there. I love to watch the market. I love to watch everything that's going on. So if you have something to add to the conversation, drop a comment. If you like this, like, subscribe, and happy holidays. I'll see y'all later. Out.